ocasión Quiero que tú repitas tu movimiento Bebé, ¿qué tal si paramos el tiempo? First of all, I'm from Houston Picky bitch, I'm choosy Feel like it, I'ma do it New, new with the new shit I do what the fuck I Hey you guys, welcome to the Queendom. If you are new here, my name is Majestic Queen and we are about to get into this makeup look. So as you can tell already by the um, title of the video, it is going to be a get ready with me video. Um, so I actually like to set the tone and the mood and the vibe by lighting some candles. So right now I have my Bath and Body Works candle. Um, it is the last few days of this summer ending that we were um approaching so i chose of course a summer candle um and this one i think i've actually had this one for a minute but it is the kiwi star fruit and it smelled a wonderful once i lit it it was amazing and i also like to do something else when i set the vibe which is either turn on some music or something relaxing so you see me here in a few seconds go ahead and get my tv ready just to set the vibe and i turned on um like a fireplace kind of relaxing type of thing here so um i am starting off with my brows with a smoothie and of course i actually ended up doing my brows off camera so this is me setting the mood here but yes i did go ahead and do my brows off camera just so that it wouldn't take up too much time and that i wouldn't have too much um you know camera time just for brows um also if you are wondering my hair is from the one and only miss willa um she actually owns um a wig company and it is by the name of it is a wig company called the wig clinic um, she has multiple locations. I know she does have one in Chicago. Um, I want to say she has one in Northern Florida. But her wigs are on point, you guys. If you're looking for quality, she is the person to get your wigs from. I will go ahead and link the description, um, possibly her website and etc. down below. Um, so yes, right now I'm starting off with my brows. And pretty much you just see me finishing off carving them out and pretty much prepping my eyelids for my eye look today and I actually use the same concealer um, in order to prime my lids which was my Tarte and then I'll go ahead and link that in the description of um, which one it is and then I'll also put it on my video here Columbus Ohio area these tickets will be perfect for you. So stick around so you can figure out how this ticket can be yours. Next, I am taking, I want to say this is a wet and wild brush that I got from Walgreens or CVS a while back. So I'm not really sure which one or what number or the name of this brush is, but I'll go ahead and make sure I link that below. I am going into my Morphe palette by James and I'm going to be using one color today, guys, to make this beautiful look like when I took my pictures, it was everything, you guys. So, I'm going to be using the shade, I want to say the shade is called Punch Me, but this is my favorite shade to use on myself here. I am showing it in the camera there, um, just because it is like the closest shade to my um, eyelid um, that I've ever tried out of any palette or eyeshadow. So, this is like my favorite go-to neutral shadow type of look, so... That's what I'm using. You always aiming to 
girl, forgive me, but I left my mark. You thought your new girl would replace me close, but no cigar. I keep my options in a tunnel, they don't stray too far. So, as I'm going to do, I used to think I'm going to break my heart. Better break my heart. To press it out again to make it more consistent. Better nigga, break my heart. 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 Better
history. They'll never toe to toe on a track with me. They'll never be another one after me. Cause the skill level still just a half for me. Last for me, I niggas will blast for me. All these low IQ hoes baffle me. Tell them that I watch, but just take a back for me. But the trophies in my crib like an athlete. I see them giving fake love, but that cash is weak. Man, you know that I ripped every rapper beat. You know Nookie gon' eat bone appetite. Used to get real hype off a half a minute. Used to get real hype off a half a pill. You don't pay niggas to front like they like my shit. You don't pay niggas to come in and write my shit. Uh, now carry on. Okay, so next I am taking the same concealer that I used for my brows with a different foundation. This time I actually mixed it again. However, it is a tad bit lighter um, because I am using this for my highlight on all my highest or most points that stick out on my face. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation mixed with the same concealer, um, like I said again, for my brows. Don't need no closure, my diamonds got clarity Telling his new bitch that he don't do Instagram Really he hate when he's throwing he puts it Like a new show, all these niggas is in me Funny how bitches turn into my end I must be playing peekaboo Cause these hoes really can't see Real motherfucking hot girl shit Real motherfucking Megan Monday shit The motherfucking freestyle queen The freestyle pro You don't see the snow for them hoes that ain't no As you can see, these are just a few places that you can tell that I like to highlight. So that would be uh, my cupid's bow, that would be under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a tiny bit of my forehead, uh, my chin area, and sometimes if I'm really feeling it, it'll be like the lower sides of my jaw, not underneath, because that part would be considered a contour. Um, but yeah, those are the places that I do like to highlight my high points. I am blending that out with a Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender and of course, please, you guys, this is a must. Make sure that your beauty blender is damp before um, blending out all of your highlights.
To set my face today, I went ahead and used my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm applying that in the same exact spots that I went ahead and blended out my highlight. Next, I am going in with my Juvia's Place Concealer, and I'm actually going to use this as a contour, um, and I'm using the shade number 5. I'm going to go ahead and start by contouring my cheeks, my bridge of my nose bone, um, around my forehead area a tad bit, underneath my lip, and really make sure that I get all the lowest parts of my face contoured. So go ahead and set my contour. I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring palette and this is in the medium tan and I'm not sure if you guys noticed but when I did go ahead and contour my cheekbones I went ahead and did kind of like a dip or like um kind of like a wide U and I curved it near once I got closer, like near towards my mouth area, just because that, when I do that, that does work better for my face structure, so. The brush that I'm using is another brush from that same TJ Maxx brush um, kit, and that's what I'm using to go ahead and set my contour.
Here I just made sure that my nose was contoured the exactly the way that I wanted um, and kind of blended out my con contour so that it's not as harsh on my cheeks or the sides of my face um, and then I also did it under my lip as well. Next, I took my MAC lipstick, and this is a satin lipstick in the color Fox, and the number on it is 808. It is one of my favorites um, that I've kind of been going to most recently, just because I'm crazy for a nude lip. So, yeah, I actually finished this off with a couple th different things that you'll see also in the video, um, but I lined my lips with the same thing that I use for my brows. And I went in with the max lipstick on my lips and then I also took that same Tarte concealer and that is in the color again the fair neutral 12 in and I dabbed a little bit of that in the middle of my lips so that I can brighten up the tab part this is just a little trick that I use in order to kind of make my lips a little bit bigger and more emphasized Okay, you guys, so you will see once I pretty much get finished with the look and when I take my pictures, this lip combination is everything. It is literally to die for, like, mano sala obra. My favorite lip combo, especially when I do my looks um, that are, like, really colorful and out there, I use a nude lip. And like I said, this is my go-to. So whenever you guys see me with the nude lip, more than likely it is exactly this technique and this combination. All I can say is that the lips, they be given, okay? Okay, so I went ahead and lined my waterline. Um, and then I actually am going to go in with nothing special, just a wet and wild mascara. Um, really, you can use any mascara of your choice. I specifically just used this one because it was like the first thing that I seen at that moment. And went ahead and did mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And then I also went ahead and applied um, a clear lip gloss right on top of that lip combo that I just did for you guys. Um, as far as the gloss, you guys can use anything as far as your choice as well. When you do this, I would recommend a clear lip gloss or maybe something like a sheer shimmery but mostly clear gloss just so that the combo that you did use, you can still see that through, you know, on your lips. So. Okay, so now I am pretty much just making sure that my nose is contoured exactly the way that I want it before I go in with my Master Chrome highlight. And that, of course, is by Maybelline. 
um right now at the moment this has been my go-to as far as highlighter um just because of the fact that i use this so much like i use this so much for clients of course different shades but i just use this so much it's just my go-to as of right now um i used to use anastasia for my go-to this is just like the perfect color for my highlight for me though um and after you, you guys kind of see exactly what i do afterwards but i am using um my real techniques brush to go ahead and apply my highlighter my favorite places are my forehead cheekbones my nose a tiny part like the tiniest part of the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bone and I actually kind of like to use this with the brush sprayed wet a little bit. So whatever um, setting spray or like rose water or whatever that you use to set your face, go ahead and spray that on, a, on your brush and then apply that with the Real Techniques using the Master Chrome. Is the diamond dust highlighter by majestic Clean collections beauty and i'm adding that right on top of all of the areas that i put the master chrome y'all when i say this product is my signature and the signature is my product i live and die by this highlighter it's everything so i will go ahead and link that in the description down below as well it does come in multiple different shades on my site and as of right now i'm actually having a huge sale right over there so head on over to get yours right now um it is going to be lasting um, up until september 22nd um or until supplies last so definitely go and get yours it's the best So I went ahead and finished off my highlighter with dabbing a little bit on the tip of my nose. Look at that y'all. Like, it's everything. It is everything. This highlighter is literally to die for. Best in the game. Like, oh, 
it's amazing the best part is a little goes a long way it's everything like i can't even express this enough get into it so next i am going to go ahead and apply my lashes i went ahead and did one of them off camera you guys They are everything. If you're looking for like a 3D, looking for fluffy, you're looking for thick, you're looking for voluptuous, you're looking for quality, these are the lashes for you. I'm going to go ahead and link these in the description as well. They are actually from my site. And that is www.majesticconsolation.com. And I'll also go ahead and link in the description exactly what style these are. The reason why, usually I would show you the box, but the reason why I have not shown you the box, I'll probably go ahead and play a picture with the video of what they look like. But these lashes that I'm putting on right now, I have used so far nine times. And you can use these up to 20 times or more, depending on how you take your hands. Quality is going to be so many times, it's crazy. I'm applying these with my dual um, blue, and I'm going to make sure that the first one is going to be good before I get to the next one. Um, duo is definitely my favorite go to lashes for my lashes. There's no way you can find like, a pair just for you. They're everything. Is my mind. Look at these. My Look at these. Come is my mind. Look. My mind. Watch when I'm gonna go because it's just. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Y'all see that? Ooh. Pressure. At the end, I went ahead and applied just a tad bit more lip gloss because I like my lip gloss to be like everything. And um, yeah, after all, it is a get ready with me. You guys see the video clicked on it, okay? So I'm getting ready to go ahead and go in with my favorite hair tool. This is a hair tool I can't go anywhere, anywhere, vacation, friend's house, whatever, anywhere without. This baby is going to do in good. This is also from Miss Willa, the Wig Clinic. Um, you can get yours from her. It goes very, very high. I find myself like plenty of times on the screen. But hey, I have a love for it that nobody else could like understand. So I'm just pretty much fixing my wig a little bit. I actually did my lace and stuff off camera as well. Could you just see that? And my wig cap, so, but that's okay, you know, it's just for video purposes. I went ahead and got it together at the end for my pictures and whatnot. Um, so, yeah.
then I went ahead and went in with my one inch hair wand by True Beauty. I think I got this from TJ Maxx a long time ago as well. Um, but this mug kind of gets pretty hot as well. Um, I have no idea where the heck my glove is because it came with a glove, but I never use it. Most of the time I have nails on anyway, so it's kind of hard to burn myself. I end up just burning my nail anyway. And bam, you guys have the finished results. This look was definitely giving. I loved it. Um, it was one of my favorites and it's actually kind of like a go-to as far as just doing something semi-simple because it ain't simple. It is over the top. But yes, I hope you guys definitely like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back this week with another one. I don't need